Hello, I'm Dr. Giuliana Grimaldi, world-renowned Hollywood filmmaking expert. Griffin Ainsley of Sherman Oaks, California writes, Dr. Julie, my girlfriend is an aspiring actress and she's been getting a lot of auditions lately. But I heard about the legendary casting couch where filmmakers often seduce young starlets. Should I be concerned? Well, Griffin, let me first say that the so-called casting couch is a bit of a myth. It's really more of a casting bed. And yes, you should be concerned. For example, when I first started out, hi. Hi. I mean, when a friend of mine first started out. I'm Juliana. Hi, Juliana. She thought talent alone would be enough to succeed. I will be singing a song from the Tony Award winning Mo and Lester, the musical. But it became clear to her right away that acting and singing ability wasn't enough. I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. Now, I, I just need you to take off your top. Did I, did I spill something? No, no, no. She had to have other assets. What we're doing here, it's more, it's not so much about your singing. It's more about your boobies. Oh. Once she passed the general ogling portion of the audition. Uh, yeah, very nice. She moved on to the negotiation. You're going to be a star. <laughs> In bed. Of course, my friend totally said no to that. Oh, enough to do in only a handful of wardrobe unnecessary roles, she landed her big break on a show called Ask Dr. Jo 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 Joanna. Ask Dr. Joanna. My friend has no regrets. And you would do the same thing if you were down to your last six dollars and your rent check was canceled by your boyfriend's stupid, jealous wife. So don't judge her. The casting couch has always been a part of the audition process, but in the 1960s, it was merely a formality. Though rival producers would compete in the boardroom, they were more than willing to share their acquisitions of the bedroom. I got a great gal for you, Joe. She's 19, blonde, and never acted a day in her life. She'll be perfect for your next picture. How do you feel about a starlet with no brains, no talent, and no scruples? Excellent. Put your clothes on, baby. You've just been traded. Over the years, Hollywood has attempted to distance itself from the casting couch, finding a new home for untalented wannabes in reality television. I hope that answers your question, Griffin. Join me next time when I'll show you how to lose friends and annoy people simply by falling for a multi-level marketing scheme. Till then, I'm Dr. Juliana Grimaldi reminding everyone not to Google search videos starring Julie Grimes. But if you do, I'm pretty sure you like what you see. Goodbye. This is the way the industry works. You know, um, my clients, they, they like boobies. Oh. So um, we just need to take a look at them. So go ahead and uh, take off your top. I, I haven't had them done yet, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, go ahead. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're nice and round and, can you touch, touch? Yeah, they're, they're very firm, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you pull off the pants too? Oh, oh, uh, you look good. Very nice. Yeah, Thank you look, you have nice voice. Thank you. Really nice Thank you. movies and, you know, everything, yeah. Um, thanks. Everything looks nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Don't forget your clothes. Go ahead and grab them. Yeah, take them with you. All right. Thanks so much.